Welcome to Endless, and today we'll be counting down the 22 most uncomfortable moments in the history of talk shows. Remember to like and subscribe for 48 hours of good luck, but jumping right in. Wendy Williams is known for accidentally giving us some of the best memes and TikToks of the new age, but this one may just take the cake. While discussing a very serious subject on her show, she pauses to make herself a bit more comfortable and then continues on. See if you can catch it. From a man to a woman or a woman to a man, but you can't even do that locker room thing. That cop wasn't playing that. I mean, you're lucky you only got battery. What if he- Conan O'Brien has been on TV for as long as I can remember, but even the pros can get knocked off their game a bit by an itty bitty dress. Yes, you look so beautiful. That is an incredible dress you're- <laughs> That you've been dipped into. Uh... <laughs> With it's your been, tie. What's that? It goes well with your tie. Yeah, we go very well together. <laughs> yes, let's get closer, shall we? While discussing her intimate tattoo on the Graham Norton show, singer Cheryl Cole was interrupted by another guest who was just saying what we're all thinking. Check it out. Did it is actually a um, an exceptional artist. Yes. Like he's not just a tattooist, he's an artist. He's a lucky bastard, that's what he is. <laughs> Always the gentleman of late night TV, Stephen Colbert acts quick to help this model avoid a selfie wardrobe malfunction. Make sure. <laughs> we love hearing audition stories from big celebrities. It makes us feel like we're in on the industry. Check out this interview on The Graham Norton Show where Jamie Foxx shows us that even Oscar winners can get nervous when auditioning next to the likes of Tom Cruise. Cruise reads his line, but it was like this. <laughs> so I thought he lost his place. So I said, we right here, he says, I know, I said the line, I'm waiting on you. I'm like, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so now I'm sweating, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, uh, I done lost my place, I done went blind. Sometimes on talk shows, all the magic actually comes between the celebrity guests. Winter Soldier star Sebastian Stan was sat next to his childhood crush, Sharon Stone, and really shoots his shot. I feel like I've seen you all my life. <laughs> and here you are in person, and you look so great. You look Kind of like this, Chef Fudge. Would you bite me in the neck? Oh my God. What just <laughs> What do you think? Did he get the girl? Kevin Hart was talking trash about Shaq on Jay Leno's late night show when a surprise guest makes him really wish he hadn't. You won't believe what happens to this famously tiny comedian. That's why I'm like Home Depot two weeks ago. Just, but yeah. He was helping people. Like he wasn't even shopping. He was just helping people <laughs> put stuff in the car. I'm Shaq. I don't have Shaq? nothing to do. You're my Shaq. Everyone knows you never tell Ellen DeGeneres that you aren't afraid of something. Well, everyone except P. Diddy, apparently. He insists he's not afraid of clowns, and you just know Ellen is not going to let that one go. The other things to be fearful of, a clown <laughs> is not going to scare me. Really? Yes. I'm not afraid of clowns. I, but I heard that you were. <laughs> When Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson get together, it is always TV gold. While appearing together on The Ellen Show, they decided to roast each other's teen photos. Guess who got the last laugh? That's a DJ. Why'd you have that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I actually bought a picture of Kevin for you guys when he was 16 as well. There he is, yeah, look at you. He's doing this. I wish I was this tall, but I'll never get this tall. Kate Beckinsale is known as an amazing actress and model, but did you also know she's the queen of pranks? Listen in as she explains one of the best tricks she ever played on her partner. How funny would it be if I just tucked it in between the person's buttocks while they were asleep? <laughs> <laughs> so, so That's halfway amazing. through the day at work, there was the... <laughs> <laughs> and then the... <sighs> <laughs> 
horror, horror, horror. <laughs> I've done this without even feeling it. Ariana Grande tries her hand at roulette on this talk show, but when she messes up horribly, one of the hosts tells a real groaner that makes the entire audience feel awkward. You were so much better with balls. We can all agree that Jamie Foxx looks amazing for his age, right? Well, on the Graham Norton show, he tells this hilarious story about young women reacting to his real age, and you just gotta hear it. DJ is just at this club, and these girls was by the DJ booth, and they were just so young. Like, I said, well, how old are you? Like, I'm 22. How old are you? I'm 23. And, oh my gosh, she's ancient. She's 27. I'm like, wow, yeah. <laughs> when I told them how old I was, you would have thought that I told them I had a terminal disease. Or whatever. I said, well, I'm 49. Oh my God. <laughs> Can't you die from 49? <laughs> While talking about filming in New York City, Justin Timberlake tries out his New Yorker accent, and let's just say he's lucky he tried this in England and not the States. Somebody yelled at her from like a, they were in like a, a correctional facility yeah. bus. And but they this were, bus wasn't really at me. I didn't I like bonus. to think it wasn't at me. <laughs> she so does I make bail, huh? <laughs> I make bail, we make babies. Bada bing, bada boom. When Nicki Minaj appeared on the TV show Chatty Man with Alan Carr, the host took the chance to ask about a very young Justin Bieber. And Nicki's response definitely had Justin a little bit red in the face. He's at that young age where, you know, when he gets a hard on when he gets on a bus. <laughs> Did he make a move on you? No. No. <laughs> I don't think... He couldn't even feel me through that big poopy skirt. His little <laughs> thing... <laughs> Before he was known for a lot of other things, Donald Trump was famous for firing people and his totally real hair. Watch as Jimmy Fallon takes a rare chance to test out the infamous hair for himself. Oh, with my hair spot. <laughs> Nicole Kidman has been famous long enough that she doesn't really have to play the talk show game anymore. So when Graham Norton pulled up this picture of her kissing her co-star instead of her husband, she was quick to put him in his place. And we've got a picture mm -hmm. of you at the Emmys. There you are, being graduated oh, by Alexander Skarsgård. You are uh, so provocative, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you showing that? It's a lovely moment of celebration, I Nicole. I kissed my husband well, too. Well, he is right there. <laughs> Nicki Minaj has been credited as the queen of rap on many occasions throughout her career, so it's no surprise she decided to drop a freestyle rap with Stephen Colbert. But it seems the host and audience were not quite prepared for this much fire. I might Stephen after the show. He gonna come back to work with a magical glow, but... <laughs> I wasn't done, Stephen. All right. When you see us, please don't stare. Just address me as Queen Nikki Colbert. And finally, legendary beauty Evangeline Lilly was showing off her very peculiar earlobe fetish with Conan O'Brien. But when she showed favor for the ears of his co-host, he lost it in the funniest way. I'm always checking out people's earlobes to see if they've oh. got good ones. Yeah, well, really get in there. Get in there. That's Let's nice. How, how about... Oh, my God. What? Why him? Oh. Mine gets bigger if you just keep... <laughs> if you made it this far, like the video, subscribe, and click on one of the videos on the right.